Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed the previous session on how to read, write and modify the CSRs. And in this session, I'm just gonna cover about two important machine instructions, namely jump and link instructions. And as a part of this uh, session's exercise, I'm just gonna write a code to jump from an a caller assembly routine into a callee assembly routine and return back to the caller. Uh, the reason why this exercise is uh, that's the uh, main usage for this jump and link instructions. So let's see what are these jump and link instructions. Okay, so there are two variants of uh, jump and link instruction. Let's see the first one. So the first one takes an uh, destination register and then an, uh, immediate 20 bit offset. So the so what this jump and link uh, instruction actually does is it uh, stores or it takes a it stores the address return address okay so the present value in the program counter plus four so in rv32 i you know the instructions are all four bits uh well sorry four bytes wide or 30 bits wide hence the next address follow uh, next address space following this current uh, instruction would be the current program counter value plus four so that would be stored in the destination register and the execution would uh, jump into a pc relative address of this offset so what what this means is so with from the current program counter value the execution can jump into an plus or minus uh, one mega one mega byte address space okay it can jump in both the directions that's it so the other variant is jump and link a register and uh, as the name suggests it uh, the address that you can give a base address in a register so this instruction takes two operands uh, two register operands one as in jump and link it stores the next address in that destination register and the jump or the execution uh, jumps into an address which is calculated by the value in the base register so you and uh, that's added with the immediate uh, 12 bit offsets which is specified here and then that is added with the current uh, pc value so the execution always jumps into the pc relative address okay so so the main difference between these two variants is that uh, the first variant uh, the jump a location should be within the 20 bit offset whereas here it can it can be any address space in the 30 bit range the reason is you are giving an operand oh, which is a register so the register can hold the 30 bits value and uh, to make a uh, make a note that these uh, immediate in both the cases the offsets are all signed so it would be sign extended and added to the pc value and uh, as you see here the least significant bit is set to zero that is because in rv32i the though the addresses are all byte addressable the mem though the memory is byte addressable the instructions are all four bytes wide or 30 bits wide hence uh, this least significant bit is always set to zero here and uh, if you want to discard the return address let's say that sometimes you don't need to uh, store the address of the next instruction in that case you can just specify x0 or 0 here uh, 0 means the register x0 because it, it's always tied with 0 and it, it wouldn't be overwritten okay so that's about the uh, jump and link uh, instructions now let's jump into freedom studio so I'm just gonna start with the same old hello world application so I'm just gonna So I like to uh, name this assembly routines with the prefix AS sound, but uh, in Linux and uh, many developers like to prefix with underscore, you can choose whatever you want. Okay. 
so let me do some simple stuff here. Want to add these two numbers and store in the T0 destination register. Okay, then I just want to jump into a callee function in assembly. So let's go callee and I'll just copy this same. Now from caller, I should jump into callee. So I want to jump and return back. So jump on link register, and I'm just going to use X3 here. And the offset, I can use the label itself. Okay, and from here, I should return back to the caller. So jump on link. And I don't want to store this return address. I can use x0 and x offset should be no. I don't want to do that. Let's start this and offset of zero. I just want to keep this uh, dummy instruction so that I will get the address of this next instruction. So jump on link. So this address should be stored into x3. Return address this is x3. And it would be jumping into this callee. Okay. Let's see what happens. View and X three X three is this okay. Let me step in uh, F five. Good, good. So from here it should jump into okay, that's good. And the X three. Okay, so it works. Let me run through this code again. This after the execution of this instruction, X3 should have the address of this next. Let me open this disassembly here. And 2001 FBE. This should be the address in X3 here after this. Let me check. FBE. Okay. So the return address is stored in X3, then execution jumps into Kali. And so after the execution of this, the return address is, is not stored, so x0, and the jump, or the execution should jump into the value stored in x3, the offset of 0. So x3 has this, so it should come back to this line. Let me check. Okay, so that's it. So hope you uh, enjoy this session, maybe in the next session, I will try to introduce the stack so that you can store and retrieve, retrieve uh, register values from stack, okay? Thank you.